Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome to today's video. I want to start with saying I'm super sorry for not posting a video in quite a while. It's been almost exactly a month. Actually, it might have been longer than a month since we posted our yay we bought a camper video and you know things have just been really difficult a lot harder than I expected with settling into the tiny living lifestyle while going back to work in a pandemic and looking for other jobs and you know all kinds of things that go into life so sorry for taking so long but here we are today with our second video and it is going to be a walkthrough of our house now that it's we're kind of settled now things have changed quite a bit since the first time that I like organize everything and I'm honestly glad that I waited to film the video because so much has changed and I love it way more now and I feel way more settled but it's still not completely decorated or perfect so just so you're aware it's still a work in progress. I also want to say that I cleaned up the best that I could but it seriously seems like every time we turn around there's dog hair or water droplets from Cleo drinking everywhere so it's not perfect but it's pretty dang good and I turned the air off so that hopefully you don't hear it during the video so I'm gonna try to get this done quick before mama starts having a heat stroke okay so let's get into it. we're just gonna start first things first as soon as you come in the door we got the bedroom so these are our new wonderful sheets don't mind that stain right there that's from Cleo I'll wash it after this but you know life goes on so I really love this because Tex said that it feels like a hotel room bed and that's all I've ever wanted these pillowcases are 100% bamboo and they're literally the softest thing I've ever laid my head on so this is my little closet area and it's not perfect and it's not permanent but it does work for now i'm just going to pull this up out of the way so we can look at everything these are clothes that i like lounge in and are not dirty but not clean either so i just kind of keep them out of the way now this is the system that i have going because this was my um wardrobe but you can't fit very much in it honestly so in there I have jeans, all types of jeans, shorts, skirts, pants, everything. And then in that basket I have some nicer clothes that I wear really never and a few things hung. But that's about all that fits in there. So I really had to find another solution for my clothes and this is what we came up with. And it was all baskets that I already had so that's why they don't really match but whatever. So I just dig down here every single day. I got workout bottoms, workout tops, all those are t-shirts, and here we have socks, swimsuits, and then underneath this one, see how I layered it? We got pajamas. So this really helps to save space, but everything is organized, so like I can literally just pull out exactly the basket that I'm looking for and what I need. Tank tops. This normally has sweatpants. It only has two pairs in it and a pair of sweat shorts, but right now that's all we got in there. And then these are my clean clothes. And I keep my backpack for work over here too, just because it's easy to keep my stuff together on that side of the room. We did get a TV put up in here, which hell yes, I didn't want it, but I'm so glad that we got it. And I'm filming this on my phone because I'm trying to be quick. But... We had to do some finagling. Tex kind of got creative and we just connected it to a piece of wood so we could, oh my God, so we could turn it how we wanted it, but we really like it. Woohoo! And then over here we have Tex's stuff. So this is his like golfing shirts that are too long to hang in any of the closets. Dirty clothes, we kind of do share this, even though I have my own, but whatever. And then he doesn't really use this at all. We bought coat hangers, but we can't use them because it's too short. So then we just have some paperwork and some stuff of, of his. And then in here we have all the GoPro equipment for when we film YouTube videos and go out on the lake and stuff like that. Tex really wants to start doing fishing videos, so... 
He's got all his GoPro stuff when he's ready. Yep, yep, yep. All right, you ready to show him the next part, Clee? All righty, moving on. Kitchen or living room? Kitchen or living room? Let's do kitchen, okay. This is just really a junk drawer that probably needs to be go gone through, but out of sight, out of mind. I did put this basket here for Tex because he likes to empty his pockets all over the counter and this keeps it a little bit more controlled. But I really like how organized the kitchen is and it was very important for me to have a workable kitchen because we never really did in any of our other houses and I want to cook more and eat out less. And the first thing is to have an organized space, in my opinion. Hi, P. She walking around. I meant to put those dishes away, but this is real life, so whatever. All right, up here we have all of our bottles for working out and cinnamon, because I put that in my smoothies. Cups, coffee, this is supposed to be standing up. Everything really, um, fits in here quite nice and quite surprisingly because I thought we were not going to have enough room at all. So this is all of our um, spices for cooking and I just put them in a clear container so I can pull the whole thing out if I need to. These are all bigger containers of stuff. We got coffee cups, my two little wine glasses, and then, whoops, sorry. And then on the top, we had this already from our old house and it just has bowls normally go there, some Tupperware plates, and our strainer. So it took about a month of like rearranging things before we got it got it figured out, but we got it figured out. So that's all that matters, right? Okay. Whew! I'm already sweating. Okay, then this is our countertop, and I try to keep it pretty minimal um, and like looking nice because I like to have our house I always tell Tex like I want our house to look like it's ready for a magazine shoot and he hates it but you know happy wife happy life first drawer we've got utensils all our straws these are just things that we use all the time and chopsticks silverware toothpicks for Tex then in the second drawer we've got all of our utensils and some things for sauces and actually these are really cool because they hook onto your plates so those are something that I never knew that we needed. And then down here, it's kind of a catch-all drawer. We've got some takeout stuff, some koozies. Uh, I don't know what this is called, but this thing to pull stuff, hot stuff out. And then under the sink, we don't really have a lot of room for storage because this is where we keep all of our trash. But we have a trash can for regular trash. And then we have a bag that we keep all of our recycling in after it's rinsed and dried. Um, that back there is a trash can I had at the old house. But it has like um, sponges and honestly, I'm not really sure what else is in there. But it has other stuff in there. And this is really the only space that we have to put any of our like stuff that we use on the regular. So dish soap, spray, glass cleaner. That pink one is bath soap for Clio, Lysol, cause Corona. And then we keep all of our extra towels on here. And that's really convenient cause it takes up zero space. This is our hand towel and we have a separate towel to wipe the counter off because if you do not live in a trailer, you don't know the struggles, but holy cow, does everything freaking splash. Like this whole thing is always covered in water. It's ridiculous. So every time after I clean, I have to change clothes and then I have to wipe off the whole counter because it's soaking wet. But the price you pay for clean dishes, am I right? I'm right. Oh, I also wanted to talk about the elephant in the room, the Realtree car visor that we have blocking the sun that's only like halfway blocking the sun because it keeps falling but I highly recommend getting something to block the heat because wow Florida is no joke we actually have towels there's two towels shoved in the vents because it keeps it from getting so hot this one we left open this is our bathroom because it opens up, but the other ones we put towels in because it was getting hot. All right, 
I'm not going in any kind of good order, so sorry, but this is now our living room. The couch pulls out to a bed like you saw in the last video, and we actually watch TV out here a lot, or we did in the beginning, but now our internet is crappy, so we don't watch TV at all, but that is for a later part in this video or another video altogether. So this is our couch. I keep a blanket on it because I don't like the cold leather. Um, so I like to sit there, but so does Cleo. So whatever. Cleo's toys I'll put away. And then to our kitchen area. This is set up as like an office and dining area. So it's multifunctional, which I really like. And I like that it's all near the windows. So it's always bright and I can see out and like feel calm. So just to go over everything. This, don't worry about this junk because it's for videos and things, but this is like a brilliant thing because it's for a locker and I actually took it out of my locker at work and it makes a great space because we don't have enough pantry space. We had nowhere to put fruit and vegetables. So that's kind of our makeshift area for now. I think we're going to build um, something to hang in that corner right there by the light switch, like right here, right there. Um, a little like two tier tray thing I found on Pinterest, but you know, we procrastinate a lot, procrastinate a lot. So that might not ever happen. So then we get to my little workspace, which I freaking love. I'm going to sit down. I just sit here on my computer all the time and I work away and then I have my little basket with all my stuff in it. I have my meditation cards for Beachbody, my aromatherapy that I pull every day, cords and stuff for uploading pictures and videos, my notebooks, my planner. This is a um, journal, some books, YouTube secrets, smudging, like all kinds of things stay in here that I need on the daily. And I love just how accessible it is and how organized it stays because of this little basket and we put our cards here every morning or every week at least and Tex picked the one that says well-rounded and I picked the fulfilled one thought that was really cute and then here we just have our little setup look at Patty just our little setup with some salt lamps and a bell and a lighter and wick for um, our candles and an ashtray for our sage and then some new essential oils that I got I'm really excited to try the calming and sleeping one so that's gonna be really awesome and then look our little baby aloe plant it's so pretty I love it Texas mom actually gave me an aloe plant when she moved back to Pennsylvania and I had it outside at our house forever and it was freaking huge like I've never seen a plant get this big and then the wind knocked it over and it broke and fell everywhere and like we just couldn't salvage it so I'm really excited to have a new little baby aloe plant and hopefully some more plants because I love them I'm just not really great at keeping them alive and we did have some plants back home in Mississippi when we were quarantined at my stepmom's house but I couldn't take them with me so there was two flowers and I left them for my mom so I should check in and see how she's doing with those and then we had a cactus that we had every intention of bringing with us and we literally just had no room like we had to leave stuff at my dad's house because we just couldn't fit it in the car so it really sucked but anyway back to the tour all right here is the rest of the house and I'm not gonna go into detail um of the oh my god fridge and freezer because it's just like everybody else's but they're pretty barren and very icy this one's more full but it's pretty much just full of alcohol and um things that need to go into the cooler outside so as you can see we can fit a good amount of stuff in here and there's stuff in both of these and then my friend at work brought me these freaking eggplants and I cannot wait to make eggplant parmesan i've literally never even held an eggplant in my entire life and these are massive and i'm really excited to try out a new recipe and we're gonna film a video on it so stay tuned for that over here we have our tv area and this is a little bit of a catch-all kind of thing that still needs to be really organized so sorry but it's got our shopping bags dvds some laundry stuff 
And then on this side, it's got a thing of hair stuff for me and all our games are piled up back there. Then, like we said before, our favorite part is the little storage behind the TV. So here we go. Wow. Tex had almost nothing back here, so I decided to utilize it. And we just got a couple of bags, my favorite cooler, and a little plastic bin to keep everything organized. So it's got like stuff for the phones, some headphones and chargers, a whole bunch of oils, even more essential oils. This is batteries, stuff for the, um... actually, I think this is Texas Game Boy. This used to be my box, what's it called? It used to be my case for my hard drives for my old computer, but I think Texas um, Game Boy is actually in there. Okay, the same thing kind of goes for this area because I don't really know what to do with it. See, it's like very narrow and kind of just like a black hole, but it's got the Nintendo 64 in there, our new YouTube channel name, a diffuser that I cannot find the cord to and you can't use it under here anyway because I think it would be like condensation -y up here. This we did have on our table over there um like to the left like where the fan is kind of over there and it had all of our cords and stuff in it. I think it's empty now but it didn't really it wasn't functional it didn't work there it was too big and it took up too much space but I really love it so it just sits there for now and we'll find something. Oh almost fell over to go in it eventually, I'm sure. This is the pantry. She's cute and she's organized right now, so I'm happy to show you guys. Wow, look at that. Heck yeah. So I've got all of my Shakeology stuff and protein powders in there. Those two containers right there are for my juicing machine that I need to start using again. This is just kind of like food that we both eat, but I eat mostly. This one is all Tex, except that's my bread up top. And then this one's kind of both of ours. There's his Shakeology. We got some Tupperware, all kinds of stuff back there. But again, I'm actually really surprised at how much stuff we can fit in here. No lack of space. Like we have everything that we need. And this is the dog's container. This, well, it used to be the dogs and the cats, but we won't go there. <laughs> this used to just have a basket in it. Actually, the basket that was um, by the office with all my stuff in it. But this is a better fit. So it's got all of the stuff organized. This is dog stuff, more dog stuff. And then we have Logan's cat stuff down in here. Some treats and heartworm and stuff like that. Bandanas, treats, stuff for Cleo's food. It's just the perfect size and it keeps everything like out of the way. Moving right along, Texas golf bag is not normally right here. It's either in his truck or he keeps it up in his little loft. Um, but he just went golfing yesterday, so it's still out, which is okay. This is his little loft and we are having some troubles with getting things to stick a lot of these were falling off these are led lights that look really awesome when they're turned on but they keep falling so we're gonna have to figure something else out his calendar fell this is just some extra bedding goggles fishing stuff a really badass mandalorian painting that texas mom actually did isn't that cool she's so amazing we have one that's um like a beach scene that we normally put up in our old house, but we don't have enough wall space for it here. This was originally gonna be my little cubby hole and like reading nook area, but it was fully designated to Logan and he had a sheet out and all his stuff and he would like sit back in there underneath the curtain and watch outside, but everything's just kind of packed away. His food bowl's still out in case he comes back. We're very hopeful. Toilet paper, because everybody needs toilet paper. Everybody poops. And this is an amazing purchase. I've had these before. Let me take these towels off. I've had one of these before when I was on cruise ships. So when we decided to get a trailer, I immediately knew that I needed one. But this is way 
bigger than ones I had on cruise ships and so it doesn't actually fit in the closet like it's supposed to because it's too long but that's okay because it fits right here and it's reversible so I have all my bracelets and like necklaces oh I heard some sound outside I thought it was gonna rain bracelets necklaces oh Henry Bindle I miss you and then this side is stuff that I use a little more often. So it's got like some dainty necklaces and my studs and stuff like that. But that leads us to the bathroom. Yay. Oh, I'm glistening. It's really hot in here. But we're doing it, right? Okay. So this is probably the least done. Oh, no. I failed as a YouTuber. There we go. It's probably the least done room in the house, but you know, that's okay. We'll get to it. We've only been here for a month, so we'll figure things out. But I kind of like the setup of the countertop now. We use this as hand soap, a nightlight because the ambiance, a plant because ambiance. This used to be a candle and now it holds our Q-tips so perfect because we used to have our q-tips like up in here but it was just too crazy they would fall out everywhere so texas drawer and i organized it with that thank the lord and then mine and then under here is the real like kicker because there is zero storage like i knew that there was pipes in there but i didn't realize that like you cannot move them at all like at all right so everything has to form fit around it which is pretty hard um i've got that black bag right there right here is texas toiletry bag and then mine is underneath there like right there that colorful one and then these are all hand towels wash rags whoops sorry um those are things for the toilet because if you didn't know you have to put these packets into the toilet so that it breaks down your poop and stuff <sighs> the things you learn glamorous life and it gets really hot in here we have a door and we just don't have anything to put in here so Tex has a towel hanging for right now but I would really like him to be able to use this towel to you know dry off instead of this ratty towel that we brought to like wash Cleo but he's okay with it so I'm okay with it and this my friends is the toilet there's the toilet. What a great shot of the toilet, huh? Toilet. This is how you flush the toilet. You step on it with your foot. So I thought that was pretty cool. But because there's no storage under here, I couldn't fit anything. So I already had this container and it actually works out perfect for everything that I need. I just switched it out a couple of days ago. I had a smaller one in here, but we've Oh, it is storming. I gotta go get the cat litter. Hold on. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at that. This storm is just coming out of nowhere. Those clouds are rolling in. Oh, I should clean the window. My bad. Yeah, I think it's definitely gonna storm really bad right now. So I had to bring the cat litter in. And Cleo just had her face in it, didn't you? You love to eat the cat litter, huh? And I don't know if you can hear, oh look, yeah, it started raining. I don't know if you can hear the creaking, but that is the trailer moving. So she shakes when it rains, but that's okay, isn't it? Not the end of the world. Okay, back to the bathroom. Actually, I think this is the last thing that went pretty quick, but this is just how we have all of our bathroom stuff organized. So we have first aid stuff, girly stuff all kinds of stuff this is like a uh, trimmer nail files face mask face mask um straight edge razors some makeup samples brushes for my face mask all the good things that you need this is all of my hair stuff i really love these look how cute that is but i just oh god it's gonna fall. i just wear it as a bracelet and this so cute and then in the top two, I have skincare. So my favorite skincare, Biosance and Fountain of Truth, some samples of it, and then a tiny little CBD. 
treatment. And then in the other one, I have some razors, some perfumes, and some lotion. And then of course we got my makeup bag right here. But like I said before, I don't love that it's near the toilet cause I'm terrified it's gonna get pee on it. But you know, space is limited. We're doing the best that we can right now. And that's kind of it. The inside of the shower is definitely not cute not ready to be seen but we're going with it as you can see actually i will share this is it dirty or is it my shadow it is pretty dirty and in florida we have really hard water i think is what it's called so like see how it's turned yellow and i've tried to wash this but i cannot get it out so if anybody has suggestions let me know but i also want to point out that right here it has like a label from the uh, uh, the person who made it. I was trying to use a big word, but let's not get carried away. And it literally says that you basically can't use any cleaner on it, but a plastic cleaner from this place, or it could mess it up. And if you do use a cleaner on it, it will null and void the warranty. So that's kind of annoying because now I'm terrified to clean my shower. But that is next on the to-do list because as you can see, it really needs and it. I didn't really grow up cleaning a lot. I like everything to be organized for sure, but clean is a whole nother story. So I'm trying to get better. I actually cleaned a lot on Sunday and I could not believe how dirty it was. Like shit was black. So I need to get on top of my game, but I only want to use like natural products recyclable packaging, not a lot of plastic. So suggestions are most definitely welcomed. And that pretty much is it for our cabin tour, <laughs> for our trailer tour. Anyway, that's our video. It's gonna rain. So I'm probably gonna watch some YouTube videos and relax for a little bit and put off my workout even longer. Um, yeah, but I hope you like our video. We're going to be doing a lot more. I'm really going to try to stay consistent and not focus so much on everything looking and being perfect, but really our day-to-day -day life and experiences because I want to be able to look back on these videos and see the memories and see how we've grown as a couple, as a family, and just as humans in general. So we're new on this journey of tiny living and camper life. So we don't know a lot, but we're going to learn a lot. And... I hope that you guys all come with us on this journey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.